Welcome to another episode of the Rotating Cup Expert. My name is Dr. Daniel Orcutt, and today we're going to talk about um, something a little bit different. We're going to talk about the Regenitin graft um, uh, by Smith Nephew. Uh, I was asked by Joe H. Uh, in one of the comments uh, in the, on the YouTube channel uh, to talk about this, and so I will. I, just so you know, I'm not, I'm not getting paid uh, for doing this uh, description. Again, I'm only doing it because Joe um, asked about it. I do use it. Uh, I use it one of the ways we'll talk about. It is a uh, an option uh, for rotator cuff repair reinforcement, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So the key thing we need to know when we talk about rotator cuff repair repairs, we have to dis describe the rotator cuff tear that leads to the repair. So you can have high grade tears, low grade tears, and kind of intermediate grade tears. And so if we look at the thickness of the rotator cuff, a high grade tear would be almost all the way through. Full thickness would be all the way through. Uh, intermediate would be kind of halfway and low grade is uh, not halfway through. When we talk about this graft, uh, we talk about, well, how do we use it? So typically it's used in two ways. Uh, it's used um, all the way through, so a full thickness tear. And so it'll get repaired and then put the graft on top of it as a reinforcement. So that's one way. Um, and then the other way is if it's 50% through, we may not actually repair it, we'll just use the graft as repairing. So the general idea is if it's 25%, or actually if it's less than 50% all the way through, typically you can go in there and debride it, clean it up. That is if it's failed, right? If they've done everything they're supposed to do and it's just not healing, just not working well, you can go in there and clean it up or debride it and then it often will heal on its own. 50% or more, it probably is not going to heal on its own. So historically, the option we had was to take it all the way down. So if it's 55% torn, we remove the 45% that's not torn. So we release it off of its attachment and then re reattach it and repair it back to normal or back to where it's supposed to be. And, and as you can imagine, uh, if it's 55 or 60 or 70, you're still taking a lot of good rotator cuff off. And so that never feels very good as a surgeon. So this is uh, potentially a viable option for that. So that if you just, instead of taking it off, you put the graft on top, it works as if a repair, and therefore we don't have to take it off. And if we don't have to take it off, then it actually helps us in, in a speedier recovery after rotator cuff repair. So faster recovery, less pain, all good things uh, in rotator cuff repair. Here is the, the two options we have for this graft. I can tell you, I use it for this, this option, this option only. Um, it is actually a reinforcement of the partial thickness tears that I don't want to take down and put back on. So I use it and I've used it for the last three years or so. Good results. Uh, we'll talk about specific results in kind of a more controlled uh, environment studies in just a minute. And then the other one is the uh, actually reinforcing the repair. So this would be an example of the rotator cuff is torn all the way. It's put back, use anchors to reattach it to the bone and then actually attach this graft to the rotator cuff to reinforce it. And that can be helpful in uh, rotator cuffs that are really thinned before they're torn. If they're really thin and then before they're torn, and then you can repair the thin part, but it would be uh, would feel good, uh, more confidence in that repair if you could put something over the top. Uh, I have not done this as of yet, uh, but actually after doing the research um, that Joe H asked me to do uh, to perform, to, to get to this stage, um, I may be doing it actually in the future. I'm not yet though. That's kind of the, in the nutshell what the Regena 10 graft is. It is a bioabsorbable collagen, so it actually will absorb, resorb, the body will resorb it. Um, so the two studies that are important for us, one is Thon in 2019 and one is Schlegel in 2017. So Thon is the, the author of this type of repair, right? So reinforcement of the repair. So uh, Thon had um, 22 of 23 patients heal when they put this over the repair. And if it's a big, re and it didn't, re didn't matter how big the tear was. So we, as we've described in other videos, as, we, as the tear gets bigger and bigger, uh, the repair gets harder and the, uh, the ability to, for the body to heal it gets less and less and less. So this was a very good study. Uh, it was relatively small, 22 out of 23 uh, patients or shoulders uh, went on to heal. So that's encouraging for using this because that's probably not true. Uh, uh, and I don't, that's probably not true in, in the typical repairs of massive rotator cuff tears. 
uh, without using this Regenitin graft. So the other one is this one. The other one is from, from Schlegel, and this is from 2017. So Thon was uh, American Journal of Sports Medicine in 2019. Schlegel is American Journal of Shoulder and Elbow in 2017. And he did this sort of thing on 33 patients. They did MRIs afterward, and they showed that lots of them, re lots of them healed. Lots of the, of the rotator cuff healed and got thicker. Uh, they had less time in the sling, less time to return to work, and less time in PT um, compared to where we take it down and put it back on, which would make sense because since we don't have to take it down and put it back on, we're going to be able to speed up the recovery. So that's that's the story on Regenitin. Again, a Smith nephew uh, graft. There are other grafts out there that we sometimes use too, but I'm just talking about Regenitin because Joe H asked me to talk about it. Um, but good option, a good uh, an, a other option for uh, the rotator cuff repairs and refor reinforcing those rotator cuff repairs. Hope this helps. Hope you liked it. Please press like. Please press subscribe. Any comments or questions or thoughts on underneath in the comments, I'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks.